Hi, I'm Harold, the Happy Chemist, and welcome to Rotosa Lab. Today, we are going to talk about pasteurization method and how it is applied in cannabis-infused product. Pasteurization is super critical to the success of consumer packaged goods. It uses either high temperature or high pressure to eliminate the microorganisms in the product, thus elongating the product's shelf life. This is especially important when launching a new SKU that includes ingredients such as cannabis emotions. When deciding what pasteurization method to use, we encourage brands to consider two questions. First question, how clean is the emulsion on the microbial level? Always look for a great COA from a cannabis emulsion provider. Make sure the microbial results are on there. It usually includes yeast, mold, E. coli, salmonella, Arabic plate counts, and coliform. When in doubt, make sure to consult with the process authority who can always help design the most efficient pasteurization method. Second question, can the pasteurization method cause emotion to lose potency? At Vertosa, we have seen success of our emotion remaining potency through tunnel pasteurization, flash pasteurization, high pressure pasteurization, uh, high temperature short time, and even retort. But we also know each product is different. We always encourage our clients to do a pilot with us and we monitor the potency change pre and post pasteurization to ensure the emotion is compatible. And that makes me happy. This is your weekly infusion of science.